Hi everyone, I will explain the platelet-rich fibrin preparation to you. These are the instruments needed for platelet-rich fibrin preparation. First, we have gauze, okay? We need alcohol for sterilization of the patient arm. Also, we need tourniquet. We have a glass a tube, vacuumed glass a tube, okay? Also, we have butterfly needle, vacuumed butterfly needle. This is the vacuumed butterfly needle with other end will be inserted in the holder. This is holder or vacuumed needle holder. The fly needle, one end will be inserted in the patient arm vein. The other end inserted in the holder. This is the holder, okay? After that, insert the tube. This tube should be inserted in the holder in this way, okay? And collect the blood in it. You should remember that you should not insert the, the tube or a glass tube in the holder until the blood was drawn through the butterfly needle, okay? that insert the blood collected in the glass tube in the centrifuge device and set the time at 10 minutes okay and set the speed at 3000 okay and not forget to place 10 mole of normal saline in the opposing side for balance This blood sample after centrifuging contained a platelet-rich fibrin. It could be defined as autologous fibrin-based living biomaterial, which derived from human blood. It could also be referred as optimized blood clot. This blood sample after centrifuging consists of three layers. The upper layer is or upper zone represents the platelet-poor plasma. The middle zone is the platelet-rich fibrin. The bottom represents the blood. We have to know the biological properties of a platelet-rich fibrin because it could be used as a material for enhancement of wound healing. The biological properties of this material composed of, first, we have the presence of fibrin matrix, second, the presence of platelets and leukocyte which secrete growth factors, and the last is the angiogenesis of properties. Thank you all for your listening.